हेलो गाइस दिस इज चेतन वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस पी इंस्टीट्यूट तो आज मैं आपके लिए एक और वीडियो लेके आया हूँ जो कि पाइथन के ऊपर ही है दैट वी आर स्टडीड सो फार एंड दिस इज कम्प्लीटली अ सीरीज ऑफ पाइथन सो इनिशियली वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पाइथन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव डन आवर फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम इन पाइथन वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू एड टू नंबर्स एंड एग्जीक्यूटेड इट let's one more time uh, do this program so uh, <clears throat> some dot py extension of uh, uh, python program is py so some dot py let's give the name i'm using the ide here uh, visual studio and uh, i have already installed uh, python in my uh, computer so if you have any doubts regarding that so i'll make separate video on that so please do comment so here suppose i just want to add two numbers a equals to a equals to 10 b equals to uh 20 if i want to give the semicolon i can give if i don't want to give so it's all up to me and then uh, sum is another variable it will do a plus b and then i will print uh, a plus b then i will print sum that's it so this is my program so control plus s and with the help of new terminal i can execute it so when we compile this program using python compiler it converts the uh, uh, program source code into byte code instructions this byte code is then converted into machine code the interpreter inside the python virtual machine finally the machine code is executed by the processor in our computer and the result is produ uh, produced as let me show you python then file name file name is sum dot py so that's it uh, that we need to do oh sorry first i need to add the directory here so python sum dot py what error is showing dx you cannot open file c this 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 so error no such file directory is there so first i need to open this my particular this is already opened mm. here i have okay so this is already opened and i have been doing something else no no should be under this so i have control plus s and let me show you same error is occurring so how to reduce this error let me make one more file based on this so and let me delete all these things uh now some dot by so let me do this again b equal to 20 sum equal to a plus b print sum so control plus s and again let me do so uh so boom you can see here so it was just an error so now error has been reduced so you can see if i want to give such kind of things like i just want to give sum of a and b is so control plus s and i can print it so you can see this is off let me zoom it out for you so you can see here 
so it is some uh, what's wrong control plus s and then one more time let's execute it so sum of a and b is 30 so here i i have given a semicolon if i don't want to give so then there is no error it will show the same thing so you can see a equals to 10 b equals to 20 sum equals to a plus b and print sum of uh, a and b is whatever the answer is so see i have executed my first program so observe the line in the program it started with uh, a equals to 10 but if i have given some kind of uh, uh, comment here mm, sum of sum of uh, two uh, variable a sum of two variable a and b okay and then i execute one more time so here same answer sum of a and b is 30 so observe the first line in the program what is the first line now sum of two variables a and b it starts with the uh, this uh, symbol what we what we say uh, this this is uh, sharp symbol you know? so what does it mean that is called the comment line a comment line used to describe the feature of a program here we can give multiple command line after this symbol so uh, i need to use this special symbol called sharp and uh, i can give any comment line and if i will execute it our python program ignore this comment okay so when we write a program we may write some sentences or uh, create functions or classes etc in our program all these things should be described using comments when comments are written not only ourselves but also any program more can <coughs> easily understand our program like suppose if uh, you are working in a company and uh, your colleague is working on a uh, project and you are also working on different project after a couple of years you left this company and you have joined some another company and uh, uh, that particular colleague want to uh, show your work uh, and he want to continue your work so far so how he will understand what you have done so far so for that everything should be readable and if you have used something a special thing and some logics and all you can give comment so with the help of comment you can describe your entire program more briefly so comment is uh, ignored by the uh, python compiler when uh, comments uh, are written so as i told you not only you your uh, colleague will be benefited it means comments increase readability understand understandability of our programs this is highly needed when we are working on a project we should remember that project de development is not a single man's task it is a collection collection or collective work uh, from a team of professionals since a program is handled by several people everyone in the project should be able to understand each and every program this makes possible modifying and a reusing of program reusability it increases reusability in the program hence writing comments will make our programs clear to others okay others can easily understand it comments in uh, python there are two types of comments in python single line comments and multi line comments here this is single line comments i have given single line comments okay so there are two types of co uh, comments are uh, provided in uh, python so let's talk about single line command these commands start with a hash uh, symbol as i told you this is hash symbol so this is start with the hash symbol this is our hash symbol 
so if i want to give command command uh, sorry comment so after this i can write anything whatever i want in one line so it will consider as a comment in program so <coughs> these are useful to mention that entire line till the end should be treated as comment till the end of the line it is treated as a comment so i have given an example regarding this here you can see here the first line is starting with a hash and hence the entire line is treated as the comment in the second line you can see a equals to 10 third line b equals to 20 is an statement after the this statement hash uh, symbol starts the comment describing that what this program does here also i can give the comment uh, a a's value value is 10 i can describe this variable more briefly with the help of comment this part of this line starts from uh, has symbol to and is treated as comment okay comments are not executable statement these are not executable by the compile uh, by the machine it means neither the python compiler nor the pvm will execute them comments are for the purpose of understanding human beings not for the compiler or pvm actually a uh, computer doesn't uh, want any kind of comments if you are providing a set of lines uh, so it is more than enough for the computer but for the humans for the minoics of the humans we require comment comments are for the purpose of understanding human beings only hence they are called non executable statement so keep remember this point comments are non executable statement okay so this is very important point here okay so now let's talk about multi line comment so let's talk about multi line comment so what is multi line comment let me write multi line comment so what is it when we want to mark several lines as comment then writing a hash single is beginning of every line will be a tedious task suppose i just want to uh, make multi line comment suppose here one comment then another comment then another comment so this is very tedious task every time i need to mention this hash single hash symbol uh, initially in all the line so this leads uh, to be a tedious task so how to reduce this tedious task let's find the way instead of starting every line with the hash symbol we can write previous block of code inside <coughs> this so i i can reduce all this three inverted comma uh, triple dub, uh, double quotes i can use okay so i'm reducing all these mm, symbols here and i'm replacing it with three inverted comma that's it this is more than enough now it is treated as a comment in python if i just want to execute it uh, i have just control plus s and if i want to execute it it will execute my program and it is same as above so there is no difference between this and this so this is same so hope you have understood it what i have done so far let me clear it and make one more turn for you people okay so <clears throat> or else i can use single triple quote also sorry triple single quote this is called triple single quote or triple double uh, quote either i can use triple double quote or triple single quote it is treated as a comment in the python program so now you have understood how it it happens
द ट्रिपल डबल कोच और ट्रिपल सिंगल कोच आर कॉल मल्टी लाइन कमेंट्स और ब्लॉक कमेंट्स सो वट इज कॉल मल्टी लेट मी राइट फॉर यू दिस इज कॉल सिंगल ट्रिपल कोट वट एवर यू हैव रिटर्न इन साइड दैट और सिंगल डबल कोट सॉरी ट्रिपल ट्रिपल डबल कोट्स दिस इज कॉल ट्रिपल सिंगल कोट कोट एंड वी हैव ट्रिपल डबल कोट्स ऑल्सो वट एवर वी राइट इन साइड इट इट इज ट्रीटेड एज एन सॉरी ट्रिपल डबल कोट्स these are treated as a multi line uh, comments inside the programming language but let me tell you some interesting fact about it some doc strings strings so in fact python supports only single line comments we know python supports single line comments with the help of hash symbol multi line comments are not available in python so you may uh, amaze ki i have told you about this uh, triple line quotes and triple double quotes what is this then the triple double quotes or uh, triple single quotes are actually multi line comments but they are regular strings they are regular strings this is very important concept with the exception with the exception exception that can be span multiple lines that can span multiple lines that means memory will be allocated to it, these strings internally if you are writing multiple uh, line or strings uh, comments with the help of triple single quotes or triple double quotes so there is memory allocated by the compiler you can see here also the color of the uh, this particular is different as we are giving comment single line comment the comment is uh, color is different so this is a string this is same as like what we have wrote inside the print statement okay so inside print statement i have given uh, the string and this is same like what we have written inside this this so this is regular expression A regular string, okay. What is this regular string with the exception, okay? If these strings are not assigned to any variable, then they are removed from memory by the garbage collector, and hence they can be used as comments. Because we we are not uh, assigned to the uh, these string to any variable. so after some time it will be uh, uh, deallocated by the garbage collector so that's why we are using these kind of things as a uh, comments also so using double uh, triple double quotes or triple single quotes or uh, not these are not recommended for comments by python people since they internally occupy memory and would waste time of interpreter since the interpreter has to check them but interpreter are not checking the comments because they are strings that's why interpreter are checking them but because they are not assigned to any variable so it will be deallocated by the uh, garbage collector but you can see this is overheading work okay so if we write a uh, string uh, inside triple double quotes or triple single quotes and if these strings are written as first statement in module function class or a method then these strings are called documentation strings or doc strings why i used doc string name here doc string name here because doc means document i hope now you got my point okay so these doc strings are useful to create an api documents file from a python program if we want to make 
application program interface uh, documentation file so this is very helpful or html file that contains description of all the features of software language or product when a new software is created it is duty of the developers to describe all the classes modules functions etc which are written in that software so that the user will be able to understand the software and use it in a proper way so this is the duty of uh, programmer or developer these descriptions are provided in a separate file either as a text file or an html file so we can understand that the api documentation file is like a help file for the end user if you are talking about end user so api files are uh, like an uh, useful file for the end, full, uh, end users let's take an example to understand how to create an api documentation file the following uh, let me give you an uh, example regarding this okay uh, let me make one more uh, file for you people uh, api dot by okay so here i will make for you so i'll uh, include let me write for you the program first so i have provided a comment comment is very important the program is program uh, with two function so uh, we need to describe our program very well don't worry about all these stuffs i'll i'll talk these things very deeply when we'll come across this uh, function aspect so don't worry uh, up to here okay so add x y and suppose i have provided uh triple double quote uh this function function takes two number two numbers and find their sum okay so or find their sum and print uh, the sum or display this sum okay now let me do print sum sum equal to or i'll do summation of x and y x plus y okay x plus y i have done so far so then we have another function called a uh, def message so let me write def message for you people no, sorry not here def message you can also do these kind of things for with me so here i have given triple single quote this function display display a message okay display a message and this is the welcome message to the user this is the welcome message to the user okay so let me print it not here print welcome welcome to csp inst institute okay and now let's call 
now call the function functions so add 10 or 25 I have passed two arguments 10 and 25 and another I'm calling message also message function also just that's it control plus s and I'll execute API dot by uh, what is problem here x and y sorry I have given capital X so x and oh y what is showing x is not defined okay now let me see it again control plus s again it's showing same error the name x is not defined but we have defined x here so let me check what is the error here mm. control plus s and now let me check it same error it is showing again and again mm -hmm. so showing x is not defined so far but we have defined x Let me take some another name here. A or B. And simply A plus B. Let me do so. So A is not defined. Again, it is showing same as. Let me do some another stuff for this. Sum equals to A plus B. Oh, sorry, I got the point. Here the problem is indentation. If we are not doing proper indentation, so it will show uh, the same error. Sorry guys, indentation is very important in Python. So now it will execute. So here sum equals to 35. Welcome to CSP Institute. So now let's convert this particular program into our <coughs> APIs program so let's do so so we have executed it and let me convert it this is the general way of executing any python program now we will execute this program once again to create api documentation file for this purpose we need a module pydoc now i need a doc pydoc module for this let me make uh, open new terminal and you follow my steps okay so in the following command we are using uh, hash of uh, hyphen m to represent a module and pydoc is the module name that is used by the python interpreter after that the uh, uh, hyphen w indicates that an html file is to be created so let me do for you python Python uh, then hyphen m pydoc hyphen hyphen w ex okay uh, sorry it should be the name of the uh, file what is file name api so they have wrote api.html okay so html uh, you can see here wrote api.html now you can check api.html file has been created if you want to open it you can open it so you can go here api file is created here so this is html file or here you can see the complete documentation so program with two functions and uh, functions are here this is a function takes two number and finds their sum 
prints these uh, sum of or uh, display the sum the comment we will pa uh, we had passed so far so it is showing this way okay and under stable form of above lines the output of the program is displayed and the uh, api.html file is created as we have seen so far so after seeing it we can understand that the api documentation uh, file contains nothing but but the names and the description of two functions written in our program in this way the api documentation file contains complete help on all the features including functions classes and module etc so here we can see it will give you complete reference the number of uh, functions and see functions it indicates that it is function so uh, if you are talking about classes it will give you the complete description about the uh, the classes also and <coughs> and other things also uh, modules also so after discussing about comments in python let's go through the following statements so hope you have understood it so now let's move towards let me delete it uh, okay so now move towards the what is a state towards a statement so in the first line the value of uh, uh, value is 10 is, is stored inside uh, left side variable a so a is variable here you can see variable a and literal is 10 so literal means what we are storing inside it okay since we are storing 10 which is uh, an integer 10 is an integer it is not an float value float value are like uh, uh, if i want to see the float values so all point values are float values okay decimal values are uh, float values so this is integer only python will understand that a is of integer type variable and allocates memory required to store an integer value on the other hand if we store a string let me store some string to it a equals to uh, let me make one more program for you people a equal to 10 okay let me make make one more program mm, variable where dot c so a equal to 10 instead of 10 i just want and i just want to see the uh, data type of this so type a so let me check it Control plus S var dot pi. Okay. So again, it is showing the same problem that we have came across when we opened. Oh, sorry. type of okay so let me do it again okay this showing same error now um, let me do it once again It is saying uh, execute cannot open file the problem is here no such directories are uh, no such file or directory so let me change the directory first cd python uh, c. okay it is already because it does not exist Mm. 
but it is in same file oh sorry thing is i have given a wrong name this should be dot by so now it will work the extension should be dot by so that's what it was showing error so the problem is type of type is not defined here here is type is a function here so with the help of this you can see it so you can check the data type of a is uh, int so it is having integer variable okay so i hope you have cleared it and thank you uh, for uh, today's video and uh, i'll bring one more video for you for next topics so thank you and have a good day